Hi Aries and welcome to your bonus reading for the day. I hope all of you are doing great. Thank you for tuning in. So let's go ahead and see what's popping up in your message. All right, angels, spirits, and guides, please show us what's coming up for Aries. What do they need to see or acknowledge? Messages for Aries. Okay. A tower. <laughs> Why? Why is it starting out that way? A king of earth. There's an earth sign in the crossing. Somebody with earth, earth placements, or it could be somebody who is committed. Um, the death. Wow. Okay. You have a change or transformation and ending. What will Aries find out here? Three of Cups, sharing emotions with others. Wow. Someone here appears to be quite upset. This could be a relationship that's going through a breakup. Um, what is your energy here, Aries? Knowing or having intuition about a situation, not saying anything. There is the strength around you. So we've got Pisces and Leo energies. You want to walk away from a situation here. There's something where you want to leave it behind you. Um, maybe you don't want to keep a secret. There could... What? What's the outcome about? Okay, I got Eight of Swords. Um, feeling like there's nothing you can do. Okay, I got the Fool flipping out. Major Arcana for freedom. Living in the moment. Setting yourself free. Uh, taking that leap of faith. So the Swords energy could just be, you know, temporary challenges. You know, you're trying to find a solution or trying to make up a decision where you feel like there's no way out or um, there's no answer to this. Okay, a person comes towards you here. Water sign energy. Let's see. Under the deck is a seven of swords. Somebody lied or is not telling the truth. They could be um, engaging in trickery or hiding information. Okay, so why? You're the high priestess. You're not saying an anything. You're just... Well, there's two kings, a water king and a fire king. These two energies are around the, the situation. Now, they could be friends. Um, I, it could even be like a same-sex relationship in some manner. Um, doesn't have to be, but what is the seven or the nine of swords? What's coming up? It could be two friends, two brothers. Um, these two men are here. The world card. The completion of a cycle. Could be long distance energy. Why are you free with the fool? Okay, there's something where you come out of this as a hero. Um, or it could be an announcement you're making. What is the announcement? A new offering? A solid offer? No, okay, so this could be also you're being hired. Um, and I think the thing was, it was saying like, don't tell anyone. What is this death? Uh, okay. Well, you're going towards something else. So I've got a three of pentacles, a change in a team, a group, um, three people who depend on each other. And I did get here a 10 of pentacles. So these two flying out together shows like there's a change in a situation that was providing a solid foundation to other people or to a group, a team. 
you're coming out of this with this announcement. What is the strength around you here? Okay, the strength is someone who is trying not to disclose. What are they trying not to disclose? A relationship, there's conflict, four of wands to a five of wands. Okay. Why are you high priestess? You know the secrets. You're the queen of wands and a knight of cups. So there could be something where you're showing sympathy or compassion. It could also be that you've been invited somewhere. You've been, someone's extended an invitation to you. We do have a water sign energy underlying. It could be any Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, reaching out to you, showing compassion, maybe even telling you a secret. But there is a big victory or announcement here about something very prosperous. What is the Ten of Coin? Okay. I got two at the same time, so let's see. What is the Ten of Coin for Aries? Ace of Water. New powerful feelings. The cup of emotions overflows. What is this about? The Chariot card. Moving forward, determined. Determined to succeed. You will succeed with the Chariot. The Chariot is a success. Overcoming obstacles in the path. I got the sun card, happiness, joy, success, positive energy, and also a six of coin. You're being included. You're being gifted, given something of value. Underlying the deck, we got a nine of cups. So this is something where you're being given something, and it's kind of like you're being told, don't talk about it, don't discuss it, um... I don't know. I mean, there's a conflict or a competitive energy in the environment where somebody is trying to pull themselves up and keep themselves calm. And you, in the end, get to set yourself free from this energy. Okay, what do we have for Aries? Um, okay, let's see. What have we got for Aries? The land of milk and honey. There's something coming in that's going to bring you a lot of value, a solid foundation, money, opportunities. Uh, I could read the land of milk and honey. I think yesterday when I did this reading for you, um, there was something that was showing the treasure island, I think is what it was. So the land of milk and honey is the 51, which is a six. And sixes are always easier. Um, there are shifts. This is a very important shift. Um, when you're going from a five, which is kind of like the five pointed star, it shifts over in it. You're going through a temporary change. And then it, when it, once it shifts, things are better. Prosperity, opportunities born of authenticity, nurturing abundance, trusting that your needs will be met. You've entered a sweet time in your life, enjoying the land of milk and honey that everyone wants to experience. It will feel more languid than ambitious. There are unlimited possibilities in the universe. These times are precious and only come when you're in your authentic zone. Abundance is an energy that you are living part of. All your needs are being met. You are given the gift of nourishment in every form. Okay. You can turn your pleasure into comfort as a means of escape. Okay. You're in alignment with your truth. And you are a unique expression of the divine. Your ego can take a rest. You may be seeking your true north. I moved my desk out of north, out of the true north. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't need it. I'm fine. I'm facing south now, which is easier. 
south. Um, I don't believe things go south when you face south. I've, the south is the energy of ease and relaxed. And, you know, everything in the south is like chill. Tomorrow, you know, things will work out. Um, southern hospitality, you know, it's a nicer energy. West is like you're processing a lot of information and messages and downloads. I'm like, I want to face south. I'm, I don't need to find my true, true north anymore. <laughs> so this is what I have for you, Aries. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.